hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make the most soft and moist banana bread to get started here are the ingredients i will be using here i have three overripe bananas everyone knows that overripe bananas makes the best banana bread so do not throw your overripe bananas away now here i have some all-purpose flour i have some softened butter I have baking powder and baking soda. I'll be using two eggs, some plain yogurt, milk, chopped walnuts, uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and I have some white granulated sugar and brown sugar. So first things first, we are going to combine all of our dry ingredients. That will be the flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking soda and baking powder. We will mix the combine and we'll set aside. Next, we are going to mash our bananas as smooth as we can get them. Now this entire recipe can be done by hand. You do not have to use a hand mixer or a stand mixer for this. Everything can be done by hand. It's super simple and easy, guys. Next, we'll combine all of our wet ingredients, starting with our butter and sugar. We will mix those really well until they're fully combined. Then we will add our eggs. We'll add the milk, vanilla extract, and then we will go in with our mashed bananas. And lastly, we will add our yogurt. Then we will gently fold our flour in. You never want to overmix your batter when you're making these kinds of recipes. You know, as soon as the flour looks like it's just combined, you will stop right there. Do not overmix because that will cause your bread to become very hard and dry. And you don't want that. Once the batter is just combined, we'll add the walnuts. Now I know some people don't eat nuts because they're allergic or for some other reason. You can leave that out. You don't have to add nuts in your banana bread. Here I have a greased loaf pan and now I will transform my batter into the loaf pan and level it. Then I will place this in a 350 degree oven and I let it bake for about, let's say one hour. Well, that's the time that mine took. I don't know if yours will take less time, but how you know if it's done is take a toothpick or a skewer in the middle and if it comes out clean, you know it's done. Once 
Once your bread is done, this is how it should be looking. It smells absolutely amazing, guys. So what we'll do is let it cool off for 10 minutes inside of the pan. Then we'll remove it and allow it to continue cooling on the cooling rack. And now for the good part, guys. We're now going to slice the bread. And I'll show you how soft and moist it is on the inside. It is great for, you know, like in the morning you want to have a cup of coffee. The bread is not too sweet. It just has a subtle sweetness to it. And the spices in there and stuff is just simply amazing. If you guys try the recipe, you will not regret it. Look how I'm going to show you how this bread is super soft and it is so moist it's not hard and dry this is the perfect banana bread so this is how i make a super moist and delicious banana bread i do hope you guys give the recipe a try and if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!